Hello everyone, my name is Idiotic Synergy, and today we are talking about Allratch the Drowner. Now, long-time viewers might know that I've briefly covered him during a Warhammer preview when he was first announced. However, I didn't cover the rules, and that video isn't my best video because I tried combining every single Warhammer preview into one massive video. It wasn't my greatest work, but then again, none of my videos are my greatest work. So, yeah, this is Ulratch the Drowner in all of his glory, 360 view and all, and it, it's one of the best models ever made. It's, it's easily in my top five models. Like, top five Warhammer models, this one's in my top five. It is immaculate in design. It's, it's a hoverboat. It's, it's a hoverboat with, with souls. It tells a brilliant story. With, like, souls trying to, like, pu pull him off, and these Pull him off. No, they're not trying to... <laughs> I shouldn't have said pull him off. <laughs> but they're trying to, like, latch onto this boat, and he's got his oar trying to make his way through the ghostly skies. It's, it's such a good... Like, a good model should tell a story, and this one tells a fantastic story. And I, I just love it. I, I absolutely love this model. And seeing it in, a, like, a proper 360 view... I, I'm uh, I'm just amazed by it. There is no flying base either, which just is brilliant. It's it's just such a good kit. Now, do I need a Night Haunts army? No, I do not, as I've still got my custodies. I've only built one model, but that fell apart because I I hate building custodies. The sisters of um the sisters of silence, however, are a better kit, but the sisters but the not sisters of battle, but the custodies are just a pain in the ass. Uh, but these night haunters are brilliant. I I absolutely love them. I this model tells a wonderful story, and every time I see this model, I can't. I I always get the Mariners song stuck in my head. If you I I can't play it because YouTube's copyright system will just you know, mess with my channel, and I don't want another copyright strike after what happened. <laughs> yeah, this was ages ago. My channel got two copyright strikes. Not claims, strikes, and yeah, now I've always been paranoid about putting music in my videos. Uh, but yeah, uh, this model is just fantastic. I love it. But I'm intrigued to know what the rules are. I mean, look at him. He's got like this ore and it's the I love the design of the ore. I know that sounds weird, but I like the flowers. The flowers add a really nice touch to it. The just this guy up here with his screaming horrific face is really cool. The fact that he seems to be chained hang on. The fact yeah, he's like chained to the boat itself. Like he's a tormented soul. It tells a wonderful story. An absolute wonderful story, and I like the souls that follow this ship. It's brilliant. It is brilliant, and I, I need to know more about this character and the rules. So, without a further ado, let's just get into the rules, shall we? Also, I love the lack of flying base. That's just brilliant. In fact, yeah, it's a it's quite a tall model. <laughs> Jesus, that is quite a tall model. It's a menacing model. And, yeah, this is the spruce for it. Very nice. Anyway, I am delaying. My apologies for that. But let's get into the rules. So these are the rules for Ulrich the Drowner. And, honestly, they're quite good. <laughs> I, I, I didn't expect him to have really good rules. But he does. In fact, his ore is probably one of the better weapons I've seen in Age of Sigmar. His his ore is a surprisingly diff is a surprisingly diff decent weapon. I nearly said different twice then, and he's only one hundred and seventy points. Anyway, his movement is ten inches, so he is paddling like hell in his little boat. He's got a save of a four, ten bravery, seven wounds. Very nice. Also, the bit of lore up here: Aldrich the Drowner once promised aid and salvation to the living. Though he gave them nothing but death in the briny deeps. Chosen as a champion by Nagash. This consummate betrayer now takes souls to, bo to bolster the Nighthaunt legions. And ferries them to where they, need where they are needed most. 
I, I love this character. I, I need to know more about him. Also, I've just noticed that one of the keywords are Grieving Legion. That is a, that's a name, isn't it? That is a name. We are the Grieving Legion of the Damned. That is so cool. That is better than Nighthorn. Replace Nighthorn with Grieving Legion, please. That That is such a cool name. Anyway, uh, his ore is range 3 inches, so you don't even need to be in engagement range. You don't even need to be in base-to-base -base contact to use this thing. Four attacks with the ore, to hit 3, to wound 3, rending, min <laughs> rending minus 2, damage d3. That is one hell of a paddle. He just bonks someone in the paddle, or he just jabs them, like, piss off. <laughs> he's trying he's like just gently moving people out the way but the people die horrifically it's like move i'm trying to get to my location move <laughs> just this man is the grumpiest man in all of the nighthorn army he's just trying to move cargo it's like an amazon driver but he's like running like like shit 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 i need to get these souls to where they're going move <laughs> Anyway, uh, fly. This unit can fly. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Seeing a flying boat, this unit can fly. I'm surprised at that. Uh, passage through the underworld. Uh, you can use this command ability at the start of your movement phase. If you do, pick one friendly Nighthaunt unit. So that's any Nighthaunt unit. Okay. On the battlefield that is visible to the unit, that unit m must receive the command. First, remove this unit from the battlefield and set it up again on the battlefield more than nine inches away from enemy units. Then remove that friendly Nighthorn unit from the battlefield and set it up again wholly within 12 inches of this unit and more than nine inches away from all enemy units. This counts as their move for that movement phase. So, so say you're in like a in the melee phase. And one of your HQs are about to die, or leaders are about to die, you can just teleport them out of there. That is really cool. Where you just know about, you know, your, one of your units are about to die. You don't want them to die. So you just teleport them out of there and just deploy them somewhere else. Or you're trying to hold an objective. You're running out of units, so you teleport like a, one of your better units to that location. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Yes, you have to be within 12 inches of Ulrak the Drowner, but his movement is t is 10 inches, mate. You're you're fine. He's he's really cool. He just teleports folk. That's brilliant. And Skaven Ram, Skaven Ram, uh, not Skaven, uh, Siving Ram. Sorry, Skaven Ram. <laughs> All some rats come out and just go eek eek. <laughs> Anyway, uh, after this unit makes a charge move, you can pick one enemy unit within one inch of this unit and roll a dice on a two. That unit suffers D3 mortal wounds. If any models are slain by the mortal wounds caused by this ability, add D3 attacks characteristic of this unit's deadwood or until the end of that turn. So... <laughs> You could get seven attacks with with a really good <laughs> awe. Okay. That is that's quite good. On top of the mortal wounds, and this weapon ain't half bad because you're hitting on freeze and wounding on freeze. Yeah. The awe is a surprisingly decent melee weapon. And that's all he wrote. That's it. I really like the name Grieving Legion though. That's so cool. And yeah, there's nothing more I can say. I think the only bad thing I can say about this model in game is the save of a four up, because it's a four up save or lack of invon save. But then again, not I. But then again, it doesn't really matter because Age of Sigma works completely differently to 40k. So that that's quite all right. I don't mind that at all. I really like this unit. It's a brilliant unit that I, I don't need a Nighthorn army. <laughs> I, I really don't need a Nighthorn army in my life. I really don't. I, I want zombies or squigs. <laughs> oh, god damn you, Age of Sigma. Some of your models are brilliant. Or ogres. 
You've got some really cool models, and I want all of them, but unfortunately, I can't have all of them because I don't want to bankrupt myself. Anyway, I've been Idiotic Synergy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Remember, take care and stay safe.